That's a really good piece of equipment. All right, I get to start with this. These big ceramic pots are actually remarkably lightweight. Ceramic and porcelain pots were the hottest thing last year. And you can always tell good quality porcelain or ceramic by the sheen of the glazing that they put on it. This is polypropylene. It's plastic, but you just can't tell it from the heavy, heavy stuff. But this will last every bit as long. You're getting two of these for $52.47. And that splatter design, which is done by hand, is what makes it look exactly like a ceramic piece. Do you notice the, the scalloped edges on it? Uh, this is really a very well done set of Venetian pots. I've got the green out here, but I do have other colors for you. I've got a few of the blue, less than 200 of them. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the aqua. Less than 200 of those, 154 of those. There's the blue, less than 200, about 198. And then in the green that I had earlier, there's about 268. Uh, Melissa Epps Wilding is with me. Uh, Melissa's going to be with me through a lot of the show. Melissa, when you hold this up, people go, boy, they're really strong. <laughs> Actually, this thing, <laughs> this weighs less than three pounds. It is. It's super light, Dan. And, and that's terrific for so many reasons. One, if we want to move our pots around when they're filled up, when you have ceramic pots, it's really hard to do because they're so heavy. But the wonderful thing, you know, especially for someone like me with this, is you get that beautiful look of the ceramic. But if you leave these out, they're designed to be flexible. So they are a flexible polypropylene. So not only they're lightweight, but they're also flexible. So if you leave them out in the winter time, and you know, a lot of times our ceramic pots will crack and they'll break, and then you won't be able to use them again, or they won't look as pretty. These will not. And then also in the summertime, the heat and the elements are not going to bother them at all. They're not going to fade. They're not going to weather. So it's really great. They're going to last you time, year and year and year again. Whereas my pots, I tend to not bring them in in the winter. I have nowhere to store them when they're ceramic. And they end up cracking and breaking, and these will not. And they look just like ceramic. So they're gorgeous, and they're lacquered, and they're painted. And, and the way the finish is done, it gives you that beautiful ceramic look without having to deal with all of the issues of ceramic, them being heavy, them weathering, them chipping or cracking or breaking, not being able to move them. And you're getting two, and we wanted to do that so you have symmetry in your yard, so that you can you know, plant by your front door, or your back door, and it just looks gorgeous. And the colors are so pretty. This is the blue in person, so you can see it. Um, and then I have here the, the teal, so or the aqua we're calling it. So, they're a little bit closer. This one's just a little bit richer of a blue, but they're 16 inches, Dan, in diameter. So this is a really beautiful um, planter that you're going to get lots and lots of flowers. Generous, generous. I really had no idea how much I enjoy, enjoyed potting plants until we started doing almost all of our plants. All of our butterfly bushes are now yep. done in potted plants, and, and we move them around. So now it becomes, instead of a, per se, a garden, it, it's as much decorating for that outdoor space as it is everything else. And I really am not good with like cement type of pots. They're just a nightmare to move around. These are very lightweight uh, and they're substantial. I, yep. I have the blue from last year, uh, or is it the aqua? This is terrible. I'm bad with colors. They're really close. Uh, yeah, they are. They're, they are really close. I mean, but they're both beautiful, though. But they held, I didn't bring them in during the winter. Nope. You don't have to, yeah. Dan. And if, and if you want to, you know, like I know, you know, a lot of my geraniums and my lemon plants and stuff, I, I do bring in. It's not a big deal if you do want to bring them in because this is less than three pounds. It's super lightweight. Um, and so you can, you can move them around. And because they're tall, they're 14 inches tall also, like all of the, the big plants that we're planting yep. now or the faux plants that we're planting, they look great in them that, because they're just gonna, you know, you, you drop them in, they look beautiful, they're nice and substantial. But if you're putting real plants in, we do have the, the hole for the water. So you have your, your drainage. Um, and then this is all, with, you know, gonna withstand the sun. It's not gonna fade, it's not gonna, wither away and it's not going to chip it's not going to 
um, break and you're gonna be able to move it around. So they're, it's, it's really like a new technology because you've never really been able to do the polypropylene with this special finish that gives you that ceramic luster. So, you know, a lot of times everybody went for the ceramic because it was like, how do you get a look? How do you get that crackle? All the things that ceramic's known for, it was really difficult to do with polypropylene. And Jennings has been able to do it. And Jennings, I, I just brag on them a little bit. They're this company out of the UK um, that we met when we were over there. And they're amazing. They're amazing gardeners. But they're also, um, his wife is an artist. So she really designs and creates beautiful pieces. And this, you know, planter, like you were saying, is you're not only looking at the plants, but you're looking at the beautiful pot too. So the color and the vibrancy of the pot is also really nice to have outside the house. We are we are showing some colors on the videotape, and I apologize. They're they're already gone. I know the yeah. gray is sold out. The red is sold out. We still have the aqua, but now there's less than a hundred left in the aqua. We then also have the blue. There's about 100 and 150, and then we also have the green, and there's about 225 of those. Uh, I, they work perfect as bookends, and and now yeah. we're actually using our live plants as true decorations in our outdoor areas. Now, by the way, these will work inside as well. They do have a weep hole on the bottom, so that's something to consider, but they hold up beautifully. So I bought mine back. When did you first bring these to us? Like May of last year? Yeah, yeah. Right. So I bought them year. right after they were here. So they, we had the entire summer with them and all this winter so far. And I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever. And they hold up and they look great. By the way, that shine, that luster that usually comes from glazing on mm -hmm. a ceramic, that has the, not diminished one bit, Melissa at all. No. Nope. Oh, that's good to hear. I, yeah, I leave mine out year round too. And um, if you have, you know, some of the, it's funny, you know, we were, I was on yesterday with Caroline at the garden yep. party and she was selling, I, I bought, I bought everything from Roberta's that was in there, but they had these beautiful petunias that um, they were selling individuals, right? So you got four and each one goes into one pot. Right. And I was like, okay, that's great for me because it's simple and it's easy, but now that you're getting two pots, like I'm just thinking of those Roberta's, you're just going to plant it right in here. And then this huge, beautiful pink florals all over the, the pot, it's going to be gorgeous. And so if you pick up two sets of these then you could have all your reverts plants and you'd be done for the season because there's so many yeah think of it as you know the plant itself is the picture yeah and the pot is the picture frame it's I what like finishes that, off the story melissa i'll see you back here in just a little bit we've got more to talk okay. about Down. coming up a little bit later 